James, uh, if I could start with you, uh, your discovery of veganism and a plant-based diet actually began with a terrible injury. Isn't that right? It was an injury which threatened to debilitate you for life. Uh, there was the possibility that you would be paralyzed. And it is at that time that you actually spent some time reading. You read about the Roman gladiators one hears. And that's how you discovered that if you wanted to not just live, but live excellently and better, you needed to switch immediately from meat to a plant-based diet. Tell us about that transformation, James. Yeah, that's correct. So for people that don't know, um, you know, I, I'm a combative instructor, so I train the Navy SEALs and Marines in hand-to-hand -hand combat. And I was also uh, a fighter in the Ultimate Fighting Championship which is a mixed martial arts organization, the premier organization in the world. And I got injured and I thought, well, what can I do with my time that's productive? I need to heal. And so I thought, well, I can look into diet to see what would be the optimal nutrition plan for recovery. And then also once I'd recovered, what would be the optimal nutrition for athletic performance? So I started digging and that's when I came across a study about the Roman gladiators. They analyzed the bones, 5,000 bones of uh, gladiators and they did a strontium calcium analysis and a radioisotope analysis. And they can tell that they were eating almost exclusively plants. And I thought, well, that can't be true because to be athletic, to be strong, you need meat for muscles. And to grow strong bones, you need uh, milk and dairy. And so um, it's really shocked me and I really started digging into it. That wasn't enough to convince me, of course, but I started really digging into it. And the more and more I dug into the science, I realized that not only is meat uh, and dairy uh, unnecessary, but it's actually detrimental to both health uh, and athletic performance. And so many of the biological mechanisms, uh, endothelial function, which is the lining of your arteries that produces nitric oxide, which is a vasodilator, allows the arteries to open up, um, inflammation, many of these biological mechanisms that impact health also affect uh, 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 athletic performance, but also for those that have seen the film, also our sexual performance as well. And so uh, I started really digging into it, uh, interviewing the head of nutrition at Harvard, the head of anthropology at Harvard, the president of the American College of Cardiology, the head of urology for the American Medical Association. And the more I learned, the more I realized, you know, we've got it all wrong. I've been marketed to and lied to by the industry and that we actually uh, should be shifting towards eating a plant-based diet. In the audience, you've probably noticed that you've got plates being brought to your tables. Uh, and the reason for that is because uh, as much as this is a movement all around the world, a plant-based diet, Ritesh and Janelia have actually decided here in India to put their money where their mouth is, literally. <laughs> and that's the reason why the plates in front of you are products from their new company, and it's called Imagine Me. It's a big round of applause. Those plates are right there in front of you. Congratulations on the new venture, uh, Ritesh and Janelia. I hear, Janelia, that when you got married uh, and, you know, uh, 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 when you sat at the dining table, there was only meat on your table. Only and now all those plates have chicken kebabs, mutton kebabs, and chicken nuggets, and there's no chicken or mutton in there any isn't. of them. There's just plants in yeah. it. Yeah, but that's true. When I got married, there was only meat. I was like, can we have some vegetable with it? He's like, no, this is it. <laughs> what was the transformation like? Because you're both carnivores, like James. You, you, you're both former carnivores. Yeah. You loved your meat, believed that meat was good for you, like, like most people do. Uh, and... Uh, what changed? How did, how, how did that switch happen? For James, it was an injury. He did some reading. What was it for you that made you decide? So about five years ago, um, like you said, I was um, an absolute carnivore five years ago. Uh, one day, suddenly, it was one of those mannats, you know, that we keep, and I quit non-vegetarian. Uh, but um, a year after that, I started craving for my non-vegetarian. And I wanted my, you know, mutton. I wanted to my chicken. But of course, I wanted to stick by what I had thought you know, strongly about, but my craving did not go. 
And we were in America at that time, and uh, we were fortunate enough to you know, taste some of the plant-based meats there, new companies coming up. And uh, one day, Janelia got these um, you know, burgers home, which I had no idea. She minced it, she put her own masala, and served me keema pao. And after a year and a half, when I had that keema pao, I was like, oh my god, I'm such a happy vegetarian today. You know? but, but, but that was it. You know? um, I, we missed our meat. And at that point, I realized that you know, India is not a burger-eating nation. We love our burgers, but yeah. we are not primarily a burger-eating nation. And all the companies overseas were only making burgers and sausages. Um, and that time, I remember discussing with Janila, and she said, you know, why not, um, you know, figure this out, and we love our kebabs, we love our tikkas, we love our biryanis. Is this possible? It was just a thought. And three years ago, this journey started, and here we are today. You know, tasting some imagined.